The title of our paper is on the insider, insider security of MLS. This is a joint work with Joel Alvin and Daniel Yost and I am Marta. The general area is that of secure group communication. Here the goal is for a dynamic group of parties to exchange confidential data over an insecure network. By dynamic, I mean that the group properties such as the name, uh, the set of parties, etc. can change dynamically within an execution. Examples are very well known. That includes group chats, think WhatsApp, Telegram, Signal, whatever you use to communicate. Some of them might be secure and this is what we are talking about. Uh, another example would be secure video or conference calls, etc. The core uh, primitive that enables secure group communication, in my opinion, is something called Continuous Group Key Agreement or CGKA. Here, the goal is for a dynamic group of parties to exchange or agree on a sequence of shared symmetric group keys. The way to think about CGK executions is that they create a sequence of epochs. An epoch is simply a period of time where, when the group has a fixed set of properties, a fixed set of members, a fixed shared key, etc. At any point in time, any group member can decide to uh, change these properties, which means that they create a new epoch. For example, Alice removes Charlie. This creates a new epoch with a new key unknown to Charlie. Then maybe she adds Dave. And another thing that, that can happen is that Bob simply decides to refresh his secrets because maybe they have been lying around for too long. One uh, special thing about continuous group key agreement and group communication in general, as we mean it, is that it should be secure in the presence of continuous state corruptions. And we want fine-grained security in this setting. This can be shown in a picture. Uh, for instance, if the state of a party, let's say Bob, leaks in epoch 2. This makes some epochs inherently insecure. It will be 2 and 3 in this case. But past epochs, in this case 1, are secure. This is a property sometimes called uh, forward secrecy. Uh, and then afterwards, but when Bob actually refreshes his secrets, uh, this restores security in epoch 4, which is sometimes called post-compromise security. So a fine green security, uh, meaning that different that some epochs are secure even when someone is corrupted in, in some other epoch. To summarize, CGKA is the core primitive for secure group communication. You can see, you can probably already see that many applications will bootstrap their uh, security properties from the security properties of the shared group key. It will be used to encrypt uh, messages, video stream, uh, authenticate members, etc. And this is why we look at CGKA in this work. Which brings me to our contribution, uh, which is to prove that a particular CGKA construction, in this case called ITK, is a secure CGKA against, uh, in the setting with malicious insiders. ITK is the C CGKA uh, construction of the messaging layer security or MLS protocol. It's an upcoming RFC standard. And, uh, well, part of our contribution was actually to isolate the parts of the protocol that make up ITK. It's not that in, uh, that uh, easy task when, if you know RFC standards, um, we also have pseudocode which makes it a bit easier to understand. Uh, our next contribution was to define this malicious insider model uh, where we prove security of ITK. It's the strongest model considered so far. The adversary can fully control the network and unlike in any other model, they also fully control the PKI. And we have very fine green guarantees depending on how PKI behaves. For example, one epoch can be secure. If uh, good PKI keys are used, another P uh, epoch can be insecure because some parties use bad PKI, corrupt PKI keys, which destroys security. That would be it, except um, life is never that great. So actually we discovered uh, real attacks on ITK during our analysis. Because of these attacks, we couldn't prove it secure. But fortunately, they could be easily fixed. The fixes are now incorporated into the standard. Um, and after the fixes, we proved security of, uh, of ITK. So ITK is a secure CGK. This is our result. Thank you, and I invite you to uh, look at the paper. <laughs>